In today's Zelda Ring video, we'll take a look at 6 of the most devastating Ashes of War that you should definitely get your hands on. If you want some of the highest damage in the game, insane staggers or even crazy ways to infinitely heal yourself, well we have that and more in this video, including the first one which is going to be the Lion's Claw, an Ash of War that any colossal greatsword user should definitely consider, especially since you can get this relatively early on in the game. It's basically going to let you jump in the air and then follow up with an overhead smash that deals insane amounts of damage and also has some pretty great stagger. Even more so if you couple this with a great sword like the great sword, you're going to also have a very long reach with it so it's totally worth it. Now to get this you have to defeat an enemy inside of Fort Gale right here in Kaled. so simply head over there, ignore these enemies and head over to the right side of the castle, jump onto the side of the platforms and until you reach this area with the ladder and you need to reach the top because behind these walls there's going to be one of these cat-like enemies that if you defeat will give you those ashes of war. Now there's a few reasons why I really like this ash of war especially early on but it's also viable definitely in the end game. First you can use it from pretty far away and coupled with a great sword you have a very long reach so you will get enemies way before they even reach you. You also get to stagger them quite easily for most enemies and even bosses it takes no more than a couple of shots to fully stun them and you can immediately follow up with a critical strike for some even more massive damage but because the way i apply the affinity to this as a non-magic type of affinity this will still leave room for applying greases and enchants like for example going in with some freeze effects or maybe a blood flame to provide some extra damage is totally possible with this ash of war and it leaves room for a ton of damage stagger and pretty much everything you need to take down enemies both early and end game. Now the next Ash of War is the Raptor of the Mist. This is something that you get automatically from the second invader encounter that you fight at the Royal Lucaria Academy during Yura's questline. So you do need to help them and then you're gonna automatically get this at the end of that, well, portion of the questline. But this is an even more interesting, powerful effect for, again, strength users. Essentially, if you press this, you kinda get to crouch down and within the next couple of seconds if there is any incoming damage your character will completely avoid that and instead kind of do this shadow jump in the air that you can then follow up with a heavy strike attack if playing with the raptors black feathers and maybe the claw talisman was kind of like your style and really like jumping damage well this is the best thing you can use with a setup like this as a matter of fact it's quite devastating against most of the enemies in the game assuming that you don't get spammed by attacks. If you fight against normal enemies, usually this means you can pretty much completely dodge all of their attacks or at least a few of them to mitigate as much incoming damage as possible. Most important though, it absolutely works against any source of damage from my knowledge. This includes spells, area of effects, even fire randomly being on the ground can trigger this if you hold down the button and activate it. Even more so ranged attacks like for example enemies throwing arrows at you or or shooting bolts or even the ones that are casting lightning strikes at you yeah you can use it in those situations as well maybe even make use of an enemy in the back to give you the opportunity to jump more often in the air and follow up with more devastating attacks since you kind of get immunity during that window moving on to number three let's talk about an insane ash of war that gives you the best healing in the game and basically on every single hit it's called the prayerful strike an amazing one for any paladin class and you get this from an invisible beetle that you find right here in the middle of this lake very close to the nearby outer wall side of grace now once you defeat it it's gonna give you that and this is honestly one of my favorites in the game essentially you kind of perform this heavy smash with it that deals holy or electric damage depending on which affinity you chose when you applied it but also heals you for an exorbitant amount of hp not even going to lie i face tanked a ton of enemies even bosses with this thing and it's just amazing how much heal you can get from it even more so you get a ton of hyper armor during it like this is one of the most well least interruptible spells that i have casted or tested so far in my videos there's very few things that can actually well interrupt your attacks with it and usually that is reserved for just bosses and speaking of bosses this can give you the possibility to literally not consume 
any potion at all during some of these fights because you can just rely on the attacks themselves against anything that's smaller than a boss even like brutes that are much larger than you you can put them on their butts really quickly with just one of these swings that's how powerful this attack is again this is suited for a faith build especially if you stack a ton of holy damage but it's definitely something that can work with something that goes a bit more into strength moving on to number four enough with the melee let's talk about some really awesome ranged ashes of war including the reign of arrows which might just be my favorite ash of war for any bow right now in the game you do need to complete a puzzle which involves one of these paintings so the first thing you want to do is to head over to the Salia town right here in the center of Kaled, head over up these stairs onto the right and then onto the left until you see this painting and you have to interact with it to open up that puzzle because from this point on you want to head over to the dragon burrow fork and then make your way down these cliffs right here so simply follow my footsteps go past kind of like this earth tree in the area until you reach the cliffs right here with the jar and from this point on you have to use these branches to make your way all the way to the ground level once you reach this location there's going to be one of these again invisible npcs that appear right next to you and it's going to leave behind the really awesome rain of arrows now why would you want this well first of all it's amazing and barely consumes any arrows contrary to popular belief it doesn't consume 12 arrows but actually only one arrow and it still throws 12 of them or well drops 12 of them from the sky on top of the enemies literally any type of arrow that you have be it like with freeze effects fire poison or even bleed you're gonna throw 12 of these in total against the same enemy which you know what it means against big enemies and bosses this is going to proc those bleeds and other status effects like there's no tomorrow especially if you go with the ones that provide these bleed up effects against some of the bigger bosses it's one of the best options in the game especially with a longbow you have a long reach enemies don't even detect you many of the times and you're free to just throw them up deal a ton of damage and by the time the enemy even comes close to you you're going to take a huge chunk of their hp maybe even fully kill them and by the way you can also alternate between like frozen and bleed effects i've already explained this how powerful it is in previous videos so you can definitely go ahead give it a try and yeah have some fun with it now moving on to number five there is an ash of war in the end game of Elden ring that deals some of the highest damage stagger and completely abuses one of the bosses in the game that's going to be the black flame tornado you get this from the godskin duo that you have to fight in the crumbling azula and once you do that yeah it's going to drop that for you and you can go ahead and apply it on well most not really most of the weapons but more like sights reapers pole arms that kind of stuff and once you do that you're gonna get one of the highest damage dealing spells in the game though you are going to be a bit more stationary and you can get interrupted during it but if you fight properly or if you can stagger the enemy this is absolutely crazy it can easily deal way over 10,000 damage even with an unoptimized build against one of these dragon enemies but against melania you're going to just abuse that boss that's how trivial that encounter will become if you have this upon you reason being is because the outer section of the spell so where the black flames are kind of circulating will also stagger the enemy especially melania which is very flimsy and you're gonna be able to also throw her up in the air when you do the final strike in the ground and that's gonna deal massive damage and completely interrupt her attacks if you use something like a mimic tier it's even crazier so definitely something that has carried me through that fight and many other fights a lot and this finally brings us to number six probably the most broken ash of war right now in Elden ring which is going to be unfortunately the flames of the red mains which you get quite easily and and early from an invisible scarab right here just by the side of Fort Gale side of grace you can go ahead maybe use a gravitas it's definitely easy against some of these invisible enemies but nowhere near as crazy as the flames of the red mains because this takes no more than a couple of shots on literally any boss in the game regardless of its size to completely stun it right away even more so the cast on this is fast you kind of cast it from one of your arms it goes outward 
it travels for quite a bit so that's quite a bit of a medium range right there and if you hit it just two times any boss in the game and enemy will either die or completely get stunned especially if you put it on a misericord 140 percent critical on it means well thousands of damage super easily funny enough it also works even on enemies that have huge fire resistances so even though you might deal like 25 damage against the boss with 10k hp it's going to still stagger them in the same amount of hits as if they weren't resistant to fire so again not really sure if this is intended or if it's going to get fixed but it's been a few patches and we didn't get anything in this regard so who knows maybe it will continue to be like this forever this is it thank you so much for watching and by the way we're trying to reach 400k subs by the end of 2022 we set that goal at the start of the year and it looks like it's totally possible with your support only about 10 percent of you guys who watch these videos are even subscribed to the channel so if you want to like show your support or just like press a quick button i would appreciate the heck out of you if you did that right now and i'll see you guys next time so peace out